Uh, good morning, people. Happy New Year to you. This is uh, first video of 2019. So I'm going to share it with you in a, in a common place for me, which is in the kitchen. I am... Um, few things to start the new year out with that I'm very passionate about. One of them is making videos. Hi, yeah, I'm around here. I'm, uh, turn that around a little bit. I will, uh, ah, uh, Grandma's got us some pork chops going. We are fixing ourselves a real nice breakfast this morning to start our New Year's out with. We had a couple pork chops in the freezer that we laid out so that we could cook them. Right here I have a brisket. Uh, well, it's a corned beef brisket, not a regular brisket. And I'm going to start a little bit of stuff with it. Matter of fact, I'm not quite ready for this yet. Let me turn that down to keep warm. I'm not ready to do that one because that won't take but a little while. I'm going to tear the corned beef up a little bit. And... Uh, then put my lettuce in there and it's way too early for that so and when i did this brisket yesterday i put it in last night right before the live stream so i've been cooking it i cooked it on low until i went to bed about three o'clock in the morning uh probably three thirty, and i turned it down on keep warm then when i got up this morning i turned it back on low and I tested it, it's done. So that part's done. Uh, let's see, I need mama's pot. When I call it mama's pot, that is not mama as in rose. Come on, dad gummy. This is the pot that grandma Rose's mama used while the while Rose, my wife, was growing up, and that's all her mother ever cooked in this was pinto beans. So we call that mama's pot. Now that being said, we cook more than just beans in it. But that is our main bean pot. So While I'm messing around here in the kitchen, like I said, I'm going to do a few things that I like doing. Cooking. Talking to y'all. Making videos. I'm going to share a little bit of the word with you. Alright. There's my black eyed peas right there. I had somebody the other day on one of my videos, they asked me a question in a comment, said that they had somebody that was uh, talking to them about God and asked them a question they couldn't answer. And asked me if I'd ever been asked that question. I told them I had. And I also had told them to ask me in the next live stream. First I told them I would make a video. And then uh, I said better yet ask me in the next live stream. And they came around on live stream but they didn't ask. Could be a lot of reasons why. 
Some people are uncomfortable talking about our Savior. I'm not. I rather enjoy it at times. Now you also have to understand that I'm not a preacher of any kind. Didn't go to none of them fancy preacher schools or nothing like that. Come here, you little bad guy. And this is why you sort beans. Any kind of bean. Uh, I just happen to be somebody that is crazy about Jesus Christ. He uh, has pulled me out of a few binds that uh, a lot of folks wouldn't understand. So I'm real partial to him. Now, what this person asked me, they said that uh, this person had asked him if he believed in God and Jesus Christ, and yes, he did. Well, then how could your God allow little children to get bad diseases and die and all of that, all this bad stuff to happen? Well, I've told you more than once that uh, I grew up in a house of whores. And my dad was a monster. We had issues all through my adult life with me trying to deal with that. That is what has made me what I am. Or that's part of it. And I think, now as an adult, that uh, the reason I was allowed to go through it, because as I've told you in other videos, as a child, I was allowed to go to church. My parents didn't go to church. I was allowed to go to church. Any church that would come by and pick us up, we lived out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I would often pray and ask God to take me out of that horror house. And he never did do it. And I had issues for many years with God over that. Uh, yeah, there was times I questioned if there even was a God. And there was plenty of time that I was mad at God. And then as my life progressed and I got to be the good looking fellow that you all know, I started learning. That's when I came back to God and I started learning. And one of the things that I was taught is that our whole universe operates off of opposites. I mean, absolutely everything. Uh, come on, get out of there. You know, North Pole's got South Pole. Now, yeah, I know. You're thinking that's kind of lame, ain't you? Well, actually, it's really not. Because the Earth ain't a whole lot more than a big magnet to me. And if you look at any magnet, you got the positive and the negative side on it. You know? Uh, let me wash these right quick. I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. And let me turn it on high. Get that going. But anyway, the whole uh, universe operates off of opposites. Uh, and it goes into even our our chemistry, our DNA, and all that. I, you know, I'm no doctor or scientist or any kind of silly stuff like that. But I am a grown-up. Okay, where did my bacon go? Heard my bacon. So, uh, if you stop and think about it, 
Goods got bad. You know, the righteous has the evil one. Uh, don't mind me, I'm multitasking. Now, I just had my scissors here they are. You know, guess what? Sickness has wellness. You know, that's part of that good and bad stuff. A lot of people think that that's a lame excuse, but it really not. Now I can carry it on a little bit more, and uh, I can tell you that. Come on, oh boy, that is smelly bacon, hickory. Dishes do when I get out of here this week. Boy, have I gone through a bunch of her knives and stuff. Uh, to me, what I have come to understand is that we've been put on this earth basically for one reason. And that is to learn to hate sin or bad, whatever name you want to give it. Eh, I'll use that, I guess. Uh, our Heavenly Father cannot and will not tolerate sin or evil. And for us to be able to join him, we have to be of a like mind, period. Uh, you can't go to heaven if you're dilly-dallying around and you don't know how to at least recognize sin. All right, see, now this is going in my black eyed peas then this here I'm going to go ahead and cook up. Now I'm going to just lay that in there and the big wads they are and as it cooks and it gets stirred we'll tear them on apart. Uh, ooh, Grandma ain't going to like all that fat. Well, I'm going to cut that off of there and I'm going to see all that fat on there very little meat. Grandma will not like that. So I will go ahead and cut off the biggest chunk of it. But we ain't gonna want all that grease in our peas. And I have been known to render this down a little bit before I put it in my beans or anything. I didn't do it this time. All right. So anyhow, if you can't recognize sin and call it for what it is, then it's going to be hard for the Lord to accept you into his kingdom. Yeah, I know. Some people don't like hearing that either. And like I said, this is all my thoughts. This is my opinion. So... Whenever somebody asks me about children dying and all that, well, it's two things. The only thing that we was guaranteed in life by God is death, period. I know, folks don't like to hear that either. It don't matter how much money you got, you got a timeline. And no, I'm not one of these that think that we born with, uh, oh, I can't think what they call it. Ah. I 
Grandma. What would you do them cans from last night? Bad gummit. This is the juices off of them pork chops that I really don't want in there. Uh, yeah, no, no, I keep getting a little distracted on you, don't I? Is that showing you what this year's going to be like? But yeah, the, the only thing we're guaranteed in life is death. Uh, you're guaranteed to have a way off of this earth. That's uh, where I like that little saying they got, what does Bible stand for? Basic instructions before leaving earth. Hi, sexy. I'm making a video. You want to come say hi? She's got a towel all wrapped up around her head. And she got clothes on. So she ain't wearing her jammies and all that. She just don't want you to see her with her towel around her head. And she raised her eyebrows and shook her head and ran off away from me. Oh, well, you know what she's saying, bad Papa Joe. Well, see, there's just some more opposites. We got good Papa Joe and we got bad Papa Joe. But a lot of that depends upon her frame of mind for the day, despite what she says. And I am going to call that about enough in there. Let's see. Your pork chops are done, baby. She's ignoring me now. So, yeah, we just have to... Uh, Learn what's going on down here. Damn. And uh, learn to call it what it is. In this day and age, uh, people like quoting the Bible where it said in the end days, good would be called evil and evil would be called good. And they point that out that, boy, we sure do see that right now, don't we? Well, and we do. Uh, they forget that the Bible tells us also that when the Lord's coming is not for us to know. Only the Father knows it. Jesus said he didn't even know it. I imagine he does now, but that's a guess because he's at the right hand of the Father. Uh, so when people go asking you stuff like that, just give them a, a simple, we're down here to learn evil. Everything has its opposites. Life has death. Wellness has uh, sickness. Good has evil. Uh, uh, name off a few of them, and they're going to tell you that's lame. But guess what? Chances are, if they're coming at you with something like that, and I could just almost hear that guy's tone in my head, when he said that he had asked him that, chances all are all he wants to do is argue with you. And I will not argue my religion or my Bible with you. I won't do it. Uh, good Lord told us that if they don't have ears to hear, then walk away. Shake the dust off your feet, just walk away. It's the same thing there. If you get in, if you run across a, a real atheist, they claim to be a real atheist, you're not going to convince them of nothing. They don't want to be convinced of nothing. They want to argue with you and see if they can outsmart you on the situation so that they can make themselves feel better about their beliefs of atheism or however you want to call it. So uh, it, it's a fool's errand. I won't argue with them. I refuse to. The uh, I got to think about how I want to say some stuff. 
the thing is, is that if you come across people that want to learn, those are the ones that you testify to. Dad gum. Did I put enough water in you? My old black eyed peas over here is falling at the Oh yeah, there's plenty there. Okay. I wasn't sure if I messed up there or not. So now I can turn that way down. I brought it up to a boil. Don't want the lid all the way on it. Scoot that over. If somebody really wants to learn and they come to you to learn, then they won't be argumentative. They will be willing to listen. Now they might question. I did plenty of questions myself when I came to the Lord. I had all kinds of questions. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that bacon for Grandma. So she'll have a little bit of bacon during the week. And there's nothing wrong with questions. Uh, Paul told us that uh, when we were babes in the faith that they would feed us milk. And then as we matured in the faith that uh, we should start eating from the the real meat, you know, so, and when, when you're told that, it's basically telling you when you're young, yeah, you're not going to understand, you're going to have questions, you're going to uh, question this, that, and the other, and you're supposed to seek out the answers, which, trust me, I've done that more than once, I had myself a pretty good network of people that would help me find answers. So, I don't know if this is even making any sense to y'all. It has uh, got me to the point of I'm comfortable in my walk. I uh, don't try to over complicate anything. Simple Living with Papa Joe. You go to the library and you find a simple word of God. God did not make it all that complicated. It's man that makes it complicated. So it's just a matter of chilling out a little bit, praying before you read, then read, then pray some more. And then take a little bit of time and concentrate on what you read. What does God want? What does he mean in here? And ask him before you even start reading. Uh, there's plenty of other videos where I have commented on this exact same stuff. So, uh, it's not... I have what I call the three fives. I don't really take time to do it anymore. I used to. I should still do it, but I don't. That's my bad. Three fives is where you get up of the morning and uh, take care of your morning stuff, whatever it is you got to do. You know, you're shaving the bathroom break, coffee, whatnot. But save at least 15 minutes for the Lord. And spend five minutes praying to the Heavenly Father, asking Him to guide you on your five minutes of reading. And you spend five minutes of reading His Word. Then after that, you spend a minimum of five minutes concentrating on what you just read. And uh, it don't hurt to pray a little bit more. I've told you before, all praying is, is talking to God. So, you know, while you're thinking about what you've just read and trying to sort it all out, go ahead and talk to the Heavenly Father. Lord, what in the world are you wanting me to figure out here? I ain't getting it. Talk to Him. That's His main thing with us, is He wants us to talk to Him. So, He's into that communication deal. So five minutes of praying, five minutes of reading, 
and then five minutes of concentrating on what you've read for the morning. And during all of it, talk to him. Make him an active part of your morning and of your life and of your Bible study. And you'll be surprised. <coughs> if you are talking to him and uh, something else I used to do is I would just open the Bible. I'd be saying my, I'd say my five minutes prayers. Then I'd just take my Bible and towards the New Testament or wherever, but it usually ended up being New Testament. I'd just open it up. And where I was there, I'd just start reading. Uh, the only problem I ever had with it is that I was so enticed with it that a lot of times I read a lot more than five minutes. I'd get reading and I'd be really into it. I'd be interested. I'd be learning. And I'd wind up reading a lot longer than my five minutes. I don't think that's a bad thing. Let's see. What did I do with this lid? Let me put that on there. So, uh, turn that down just a little bit. <coughs> that's your first word for the year your first video right here in the simple kitchen of simple living with Papa Joe and a simple word of God while cooking a simple meal because I'm going to have a simple day y'all don't let people make this life and on earth that complicated for you let's simplify it a little bit with that I gotta go chase down a cigarette go in here and aggravate grandma See what else we're going to do for a meal here. Uh, I know we're going to do us a couple of eggs somehow. It is what it is. Remember, he does love you. And so do I. He will help you. He will give you the answers. All you have to do is ask him for them. Pray for them. Concentrate it. Uh, Prayer means that you're asking. Then you are supposed to uh, expect answers to those prayers. And then you wait on the answers to them prayers. It don't mean that you get them all at the same time. Just boom, 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 boom. It don't work like that. But then you expect them. That means you're waiting on them. Do your deal. And y'all remember, he loves you. So do I. Welcome to 2019. I look forward to having a very good year on the old YouTube. And uh, it's really grown a lot in 2018. I mean, by leaps and bounds. And I hope to see it keep happening uh, into the oncoming year. Y'all have a good day now. Be safe out there. Bye.